after every story comes out, I just keep thinking about na 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 na. They're getting him out of here, John. And it's funny because Elon is now saying you didn't even bring up the craziest part of this whole thing, which was him basically saying he's a right wing a fascist now because the Democrats aren't nice. John, this is. I just kind of made this connection in my head. This is how Trump was made. He wanted the approval and the likes of the Hollywood elite. They never gave it to him and he had to go complete villain. And that's exactly what Elon is doing, right? Elon wanted to buy Twitter because he wanted to control and he wanted the power of the narrative. And he wanted, he says it's about free speech. It's all BS, right? He wanted the narrative to come back and he wanted control of that. And then Democrats, I wouldn't even say Democrats. I think people who are going to be on the right side of history are looking at that as like, we're never going to accept you. And the more, sometimes, John, the more and more you poke Trump over and over, the more and more, Trump, I told you this before, John, Trump could, in 2012, could have got his own show on Fox like Tucker did, made millions and millions of dollars, never was never was going to be in legal trouble and still would have been part of the conversation every single day. But he wanted more. He couldn't resist more, right? And that's the same situation here with Elon. Elon is worth $200 billion and he still needs more. He still needs that approval, that adolescent approval that he never seemed to get from his childhood. I, I can say that, right? So here you are. You lose money on your original company, which is Tesla. Your Twitter deal is is probably not going to work out. Even so, you're going to really hate it on some level. Then three, all these allegations, or not allegations, because he he agreed to pay the two fifty. So he said on Twitter this wasn't true, but he agreed to pay the two fifty. So on some level, this is true, no matter what he says. Right? He did this, and I bet you what, John. That that won't be the only one, because usually, as we see with cases like this, it's never just one. So Elon's getting everything he asked for, and he deserved it, as, as far as I'm concerned. And he he was always been a right winger. I tweeted this. He's using this as a way to become what he truly is, and that's the right winger that he always was. So as far as I'm concerned, he had no problem with January 6, had no problem with Buffalo, but he has a problem with being called out on Twitter. So yeah, well, here's the thing. The thing I enjoyed the most about it was he went ahead in his takeover bid, in his hostile takeover bid, he offered a very high price. And I think he's like, is it 44 or like 55 or something a share? It was like it's 54, whatever yeah. it was, yeah, 54 a share. And so he's locked in on that. And so tw- and so the Twitter prices are, are tanking. Now, remember that in the, the sales agreement that they signed, they said whoever takes the deal or whoever doesn't follow through, if this deal crashes, that person owes the other party a billion dollars, right? So the the reality is is that you have a situation in which um, t- uh, Elon is going ahead and he is, um, you know, trying to I guess crash or ruin the deal, thinking that Twitter will try to negotiate with him. And Twitter's calling his buff and saying, no, no, we're not going to negotiate with you. What we're going to do is we're going to hold you to the deal that we agreed to. Now, don't forget that there were some things in which he had to back the deal or back his commitment to the deal with stock, with Tesla stock. Well, the Tesla stock has lost like over like $400 a share since, uh, since this whole thing started. So he will have to give up more Tesla stock. And for any number of reasons, the Tesla stock is tanking. And I wonder, I think JP Morgan was involved. I think um, one, one of the, um, I forget, one of the computer moguls was involved. But I wonder if those people are going to back out on him because he is conducting himself in a manner where would you want to be his guarantor, right? If you're, if you're JP Morgan, and and you're going ahead trying to get people to support, uh, you know, to, to if you're going to provide, if you're going to invest in him so he can make this investment, aren't you getting a little nervous? By the way, he's conducting himself. I mean, do you really want to turn over that much money to him, seeing how he's behaving? Oh.